Earlier on today, I was rung by the defence secretary of the country, Dr. Bayer Rajapaksa, who expressed his, his upset at a piece we ran on Tuesday of this week, in which we carried some very serious allegations of sexual abuse, supposedly by soldiers in some of the IDP camps for displaced people in north of the country, Valia. Uh, he was angry and said that we would be deported as a result of that piece. Um, he said we could say what we liked um, about what's happening in this country, but we would have to do it in our own country, uh, not here, and we would be immediately deported. And, and so, I mean, what has their reaction been to the actual allegations? Well, as it stands, though, I haven't had a serious factual response to the allegations themselves. Uh, one official said to me that we had damaged the image of Sri Lanka, and certainly the defence secretary himself seemed uh, angry that we had uh, accused what he said of his soldiers of raping people. They're incredibly sensitive about uh, allegations about misconduct in these camps, partly because at the moment they're looking for the international community to step in, for the UN, uh, other international groups, to step in and help them fund what's ostensibly going to be a tens of thousands strong internment camp system, which could be open for a number of years as they begin to filter um, the Tamil population of the north of the country. En enormous sensitivity about this, so suggestions of sexual abuse by soldiers, which we did hear from the UN, had raised concerns among them and asked them to change some practices at the camp to make women safer, uh, have obviously caused, caused them to be a very, very, very angry in their reaction. So hence I'm being driven towards the airport.